hello friends welcome to engineering tutorial uh, in today's video we are going to discuss some basic concepts related to electrocardiogram or electrocardiography which is the recording of the electrical activity associated with heart okay so the heart it generates an electric signal the recording of which is called as electrocardiogram and we will discuss some basic concepts related to it. So what is electrocardiography or what is electrocardiogram? So as I said it is the recording of the electrical activity associated with the functioning of the heart. Okay, So it involves a lot of things, a lot of uh, behavior can be analyzed by recording the electrocardiogram signal okay the voltage the electric potential which is generated by heart such as blood flow uh, the beating of the heart uh, uh, the the cardiac strength and all other related things the medical parameters which are of clinical and diagnostic significance so the heart it uh, generates a periodical and rhythmically repeating signal okay in the form of an electric potential okay voltage changes uh, it is synchronized by the heartbeat okay so that signal is called as that potential the electric potential uh, variation which is uh, produced by the heart is called as electrocardiogram which is recorded using suitable electrodes so the amplitude range of the electrocardiogram signal is uh, generally it lies in between 0.1 microvolt and 5 microvolt as you can see this voltage uh, the level of the voltage is very 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 low the order of microvolt so it requires suitable signal conditioning processing and amplification in order to present it uh, in a way that can be measured by the or that can be uh, comprehended or displayed in the uh, display device so it requires suitable signal conditioning processing amplification uh, noise removal all of the things the frequency range of ecg is from 0.05 to 120 hertz okay so this is the amplitude range 0.1 to 5 microvolt and this is the frequency range of ecg from 0.05 to 120 hertz now from where does this signal this electric potential change originate what is the source of the ecg so this uh, ecg potential the electrocardiogram potential uh, it is generated by a group of cells in the heart called as the sinoatrial node okay so this is let's say this is the structure of the heart uh, please forgive my uh, drawing skills it is not that great but still we can uh, uh, manage with it so this you can see here at the top right according to this uh, according to human heart this is the top right but the way you are seeing it is on the left but when we analyze it from the human body uh, it is at the top right so here the group of cells here is called as the sinoatrial node which acts as the source of the electric potential called as ecg okay so this sinoatrial node it generates the required stimulus which produces the action potential okay the action potential which is called as the ecg we have already discussed about action and resting potential in the origin of bioelectric signals so you please check out that video before you watch this video so the sinoatrial node at the top right of the heart but here it is at the left so this sinoatrial node generates the required stimulus okay which causes migration of ions 
particularly sodium potassium and chloride okay positive and negative ions which generates the action potential which is the electrocardiogram potential now the sinoatrial node is generally uh, 20 to 25 millimeter long okay 20 to 25 millimeter long and 2 to 5 millimeter thick and the rate at which it produces the electric potential or the electrocardiogram potential is at the heartbeat the rate at which the heart produces the the beat the beating of the heart which is normally about 72 beats per minute so as i said it is located at the top right atrium near the vena cava okay these are all related to uh, these are all medical terms which are, we are not uh, that concerned with that we must just understand sir it is located at the top right corner of the human heart it produces the required stimulus okay which is at the rate of heartbeat 72 beats per minute which causes migration of ions particularly the cations and anions sodium na plus potassium k plus and chloride cl minus which produces the electric potential so the heart cells the cardiac muscle groups which uh, uh, produce the uh, electrocardiogram potential they look something like this uh, and uh, in the resting state as i said a cell has negative charge along the inner surface and positive charge along the outer surface okay so if we take a cross section cross sectional view of these muscle groups that is if we just analyze one cell in its resting state a cardiac cell or a heart cell has negative charge along the inner surface these are the chloride ions okay mainly uh, the sodium potassium and chloride ions are responsible for generation of electrical signals uh, we have already discussed that so in the resting state when it is idle the cell any cell has negative charge along the inner side the inner surface and positive charge along the outer side the outer surface now when there is an unequal distribution of oppositely charged ions there will be an electric potential produced in between them so this electric potential which is generated is called as the resting potential and this resting potential is normally minus 90 millivolt okay it is the normal value it can change and the cell in this state is said to be polarized now when the cell is excited that is the cardiac cell is excited by the sinoatrial node because of the heartbeat 72 beats per minute the outer side it becomes momentarily negative okay here the outer side becomes momentarily negative and the inner side it becomes positive that is there is a migration of ions migration of charge in its resting state there was positive charge along the outer side negative on the inner side in the excited state there is negative on the outer side of the cell and positive in the inner side of the cell this migration of ions which causes re redistribution of the charges it produces the action potential which is generally the normal value is plus 20 millivolt now this plus 20 millivolt within that the normal value it is called as the electrocardiogram potential this plus 20 millivolt is the normal value considering all cells but the electrocardiogram potential normally lies in between 0.1 to 5 micro volt and frequency range is from 0.05 to 120 hertz so this uh, in the excited state the electrocardiogram potential is generated okay now after certain period of time when the stimulus is removed the cell again returns back to its resting state that is negative charge along the inner side positive charge along the outer side and acquires the resting potential of minus 90 millivolt which is the normal value okay the normal value and this process is called as repolarization and when the cell generates the action potential 
this process was called as depolarization and when it returns back again to resting state it is called as repolarization and the time between depolarization and repolarization is called as the refractory period it is the time required for the cell to return back from the excited state to the resting state the normal state so this is the refractory period now uh, the ecg waveform uh, you may have seen in the hospitals in the display uh, a waveform something like this okay it repeats itself this is a ecg waveform which is called as a qrs wave okay we'll discuss it in detail but here you can just uh, uh, know that a normal ecg wave looks something like this okay we are mainly interested in this q r and s portion that's why it is called as the qrs wave so here the p is the first peak which is produced okay the first peak which is produced q is the first negative peak okay q is the first negative peak okay then r is the second positive peak which is of maximum amplitude okay r s is the second negative peak which is of maximum amplitude in the negative direction okay s and t is the third positive peak which has value in between p and r okay it is greater than p but less than r this is called as the t okay the t point which is the third positive peak and this uh, waveform generally uh, has uh, it, it it retains the same shape so that's why it is rhythmic and periodical the ecg waveform so this is how a normal ecg waveform looks like so the functioning of uh, the heart and the generation of the electrocardiogram potential it follows the same concept of uh, the resting and action potential in the resting state when there is no stimulus because of the arrangement of charge carriers in this way the cell uh, produces the resting potential when it is excited because of the redistribution of charge carriers it produces the action potential which is the required electrocardiogram potential and then after a certain period of time the cell again returns back to its original resting state which is called as repolarization and uh, ecg wave follows this wave pattern which is of clinical and diagnostic significance for analysis so here we have discussed some of the basic concepts related to electrocardiogram or electrocardiography which is the recording of the electrical activity associated with the functioning of the heart so i hope you like this video and please subscribe my channel engineering tutorial for more such videos related to electrical electronics instrumentation and communication engineering have a great day thank you very much